Oh, here we go. Finally, she speaks. Nearly two days and you're giving me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Yeah. So like she hasn't that. talked to you for two days until now? Son, are you familiar with the White Fang? Of course. I don't think there's a faunus on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid, holier-than-thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> Wait a minute, you were a member of the White Fang? That's right. I was a member for most of my life, actually. You can almost say I was born into it. Back then, oh, things getting were getting a flashback. In the ashes sort of. of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the Faunus. Of course, despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Oh. Humanity still thought of us as lesser beings. And so, the White Fang rose up as the voice of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. I took part in every boycott. Oh. And I actually thought we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then, five years ago, our leader stepped down. And a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, our peaceful protests were being replaced with organized attacks. We were setting fire to shops that refused to serve us, hijacking cargo from companies that used honest labor. And the worst part was, it was working. We were being treated like equals, but not out of respect. Out of fear. Out of fear. So, I left. Are we going to find out who this ruthless leader is? Maybe he'll come to play in all this? I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So here I am, a criminal hiding in plain view, all with the help of a little black bow. So, have you told your friends any of this? Yeah. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. Oh, and shut up. Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. Ah, Teddy, where did you come from? Hey, guys. You're a you sneaky little girl, aren't you? We're looking for our friend Blake. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, the cat ears? What cat ears? She wears a bow. Hmm, yeah, about that. Don't do it. The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. Well, while I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Going where? Oh, Chini Company Freighter. You're sure? Thanks anyways. This is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. She what does. Do I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we She just won't admit it. The innocent never run, Yang. She's, she's thinking to herself, Penny, shut the fuck up. Is she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. But why? Well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. Oh, they're gonna bond. I can see them becoming really good friends. I don't know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends. But Aww. if I did, I would want them to talk to me about things. Me too. Did I miss anything? Not really. Not really. 
They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're just sitting there. Cool. Maybe they're waiting for someone? Do you always break the law without a second thought? Hey, where do you want to They could be waiting for someone. Okay, too soon. What? My guess is whoever they were waiting for is here. Is it Roman? It's Roman, isn't it? You're not Roman. No. Is that them? Oh. It's them. The White Fang. All right, grab the tow cable. You really didn't think they were behind it, did you? I really well, thought it was Roman at first. I think deep down I knew. I just didn't, didn't want, want to believe it. Hey, what's the hold up? Oh, I thought I got caught for a second. Exactly I knew it! I knew it was him! Why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? Oh, I knew it. The white thing would never work with a human. Especially not one like that. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, you never know. Oh, Blake. I don't know if you can beat him. No, you idiot. This isn't a leash. Oh. Nobody move. He was gonna say, oh, for fuck's sake. Take it easy there, little lady. Brothers of the White Fang, why oh, are you shit. eating this gum? <laughs> okay, didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? The White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is or I'll put an end to your little operation. He's perceptively calm. I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. A big operation. Oh shit. Aw, oh, he brought back up. Oh shit. Oh! Your damn cane, I forgot about that. Oh no. Go, go, go help her. Oh shit. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I like your weapon, but I think you're a dick. And you have nice hair though. And a cool hat. And a cool jacket. Oh yes, yeah. suck it, mm. monkey boy. I think I, sh I think she said your name once, but I forgot what it was. Leave her alone. Aww. Oh, there's more. You are not the vice banana in the bunch, are you, kid? Uh, okay. Oh. Ooh. I like this guy. Please deck Roman, please. Oh shit, watch out. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh shit, oh. Take the fucker down, please. Whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down. Oh, she got him. Oh shit, don't. Mm, no. Okay, we're good. Oh. Her <gasps> friends are here. Oh, hello, Red. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ruby, are these people your friends? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yeah, she and Roman are besties. Oh. Oh, oh, she gonna do something. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Whoa! I like you! I knew there was something odd about you. I knew you weren't just a little goody goody. There was more to you than meets the eye. Please, deck Roman. She, like, shoots these razor knife things out of her back! Oh, 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 that is cool. Oh, 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 she is a fucking badass. Where's Roman? Oh. You ain't going nowhere. Bring it down. Uh, forgot her name. <laughs> because she's a badass. Oh, there you are. No, 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 stop him! Don't let him get away! These kids just keep getting weirder. 
Yeah, he's gonna get away. No! Ugh, he got away. Again. I have to admit, though, he's a good villain. She's gonna apologize. I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with Stop. Do you have any idea how long I've been searching for you? She was concerned for her. hours. That means I've had 12 hours to think about this. And in that 12 hours, I've decided... I don't care. You don't care? You said you're not one of them anymore, right? No, I, I haven't been since I was I, younger. I, I don't want to hear it. All I want to know is that the next time something this big comes up, you come to your teammates and not some someone else. Of course. Aww. Yes, you really invented them. Yes, <laughs> same girl, same. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about you. Uh, I think you could be good. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Penny? Oh, that's her name. Yeah, where is she? Oh. You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. Who are you talking to? Hey, your time will come. What's she talking to? Her father? Hmm. Queen has pawns. They're awfully suspicious. Was that it? That was it? So like an after credit scene or something because I don't want to wait for the credits so I'm just gonna skip. Oh my god there is an after credit scene. Hold up people. Here we go. Alright here we go. I love after credit scenes. You'll be back. That's obvious. We ain't seen the last of you. <laughs> what? I wasn't expecting to see you guys so soon. Who? We were expecting more from you. The fuck are you? <laughs> you were the ones who suggested working with those stupid mugs from the White Fang. And you will continue to do so. Whoa. We have big plans for you, Rohan. Gonna kill him? All we ask is a little cooperation. Who are you? But don't do that to me. Wow. I did not think there was going to be an after credit scene. But once the credits ended, I was, I was about to end it too. Like once the credits started, I was looking through. I saw we had three minutes left. I'm like either there's three minutes of credits or the credits last like a minute or two long. And there's a one after credit scene. So I'm skipping through the credits. I'm like, there's an after credit scene. So I watched it. Oh my God. We all know Roman's going to be back. But who the hell was that girl? What? She like, whoa, what was this? Holy crap. First off, I want to say this was a really good finale for volume one. Weiss and Blake, they had their up and down, but they made up and I love that. And I love the monkey boy. I forgot his name, but, and Penny, is she working for someone? Maybe my first guess is her father. Even though she called him sir, I'm like, maybe it's like her father or someone? Because he said, whoever it was said, your time will come. So obviously, later on in the show, like maybe in volume two, she's going to serve a greater purpose. Maybe she's going to help Team Ruby? Or maybe she's against them? I don't think so. I think she, I think her purpose in volume two or later on will be to help them somehow. Yeah, but my first guess will obviously be her father. But I love, I like Penny. I, th I, I really hope we see a lot more of her. And yeah, Roman Torchwick, well, he's an asshole. He, I have to admit, though, he's a really entertaining villain. Like, I really like him, even though he is a douche. But yeah, that ending, though, like, who the hell was that? Obviously, it's obvious to me now that while Roman was technically the villain for this volume, Obviously, he's just like a pawn or something. Whoever this girl is, she's like the bigger bad. She, he's the pawn. She's like the true mastermind behind everything. 
I don't know who she is, what her motivation is, what she wants, but obviously we'll see a lot more of her in season two, since she's the brains behind Roman Torchwick. But overall, this was a really good finale. I think this was definitely one of the best episodes of Volume 1, without a doubt. Maybe even my favorite, because this, this was just a really good chapter. Definitely one of the best. And that is Volume 1, people. On to Volume 2. Oh. Well, that is Ruby, Volume 1, Chapter 16, and a Volume 1. Oh my god. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and please subscribe for more Ruby reactions. Stay tuned for Volume 2. Can't wait to start it. I'm so excited. Oh, I think it just gets crazier from here on out. And I can't wait to see more. Well, that is it for now, so I will see you guys next time.